What's going on guys? It's Tito with the uh, RST Delta page and uh, today's uh, topic we're going to talk about the anatomy of a compressor stall and um, the reason why is there's a lot of questions that are being asked um, dealing with the aerodynamic perspective of it and also the turbine uh, you know the turbine engine type um, perspective and so it's worth kind of looking at I'm gonna try to break it down in, in a real simple uh, basic way to kind of help you understand uh, what's going on here so what we're looking at is we're looking at a uh, turbofan uh, engine and the reason why we know that is because if you take a look at it you've got up front here you've got the the, the fan and then you've got what looks like kind of like the in the last video it looks like the turbo uh, jet uh, type engine and so you've got the high bypass area up on top and on the bottom and that's that's typically what your uh, modern airline turbine engine looks like so what what exactly is going on during a compressor stall and why is it important to understand this um, during a compressor stall or surge um, the key takeaway here is there has been a disruption of airflow so that's the number one thing that's happened there's a disruption of airflow in a specific area and when we're talking about it it is in the compressor section area and that's why they call it a compressor stall or a compressor surge typically uh, what's going on here is so you've got two a couple things number one you've got a disruption of airflow which then translates into a disruption of pressure uh, and then the third thing is that it's typically caused because you have a continued uh, or an increased flow of uh, fuel flow uh, without the corresponding uh, increase of rotational RPMs from the turbine section in order to produce the airflow uh, required uh, to produce the compressor discharge pressure. I know that sounded like a lot of a lot going on, but I'm, I'm going to break it down uh, for you in hopefully simple terms so that you can understand the anatomy of it. So typically what happens in a, tur uh, a turbine engine in a steady state condition, you've got air flowing into the engine. Okay. And in this in, in this example, it's going on top bypass, and then it's going through the actual um, turbine engine. And for every spool or multi-spool section, um, the pressure is increasing, increasing, and then all of a sudden the air gets spit out at a very high speed, high, uh, high pressure. The diffuser decreases the pressure. Uh, excuse me, uh, it decreases the, uh, the 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 velocity. So I don't want to confuse you that the velocity is decreased through the um, diffuser section and then all of a sudden it enters the combustion section where you've got the igniters uh, and then you're mixing the air and the fuel in this section here and so ultimately you've got a, a very uh, high pressure area in uh, aft of the compressor section and then you've got a high pressure area in the combustion section okay and typically the pressure uh, aft of the compressor section is greater than the pressure in the combustion section so the air continues to flow it goes through and past the turbine section and then it comes out the back just like that I apologize for the beeps. That's that's folks from the Facebook page uh, trying to get a hold of me. But uh, we'll continue with the uh, lesson. So next, uh, that, that's what the steady state uh, situation looks like. So what's going on when you have a compressor stall or a compressor surge? Number one answer, there's a disruption of airflow. It's no different than when you're flying an aircraft and you stall the wings. There's disruption of airflow, separation of laminar airflow around the wing, and all of a sudden you've got a stall situation. So you have to correct that by increasing the airflow and decreasing the uh, angle of attack. Very similar in this type of situation. Some of the characteristics or takeaways you should have. So at low altitude, high power setting, the uh, compressor is going to produce a higher vibrations, bangs, and uh, violent yaws in a low uh, altitude type situation. At higher altitudes, you have muffled noise, light vibrations, and a rise of EGT, which is going to be indicated inside of the cockpit. 
some of the reasons why you have the compressor stall is, for example, you've got FOD from a bird strike. All of a sudden, a bird gets in there, the compressor slows down, and the fuel, listen to this, the key is the fuel is continuing to flow at the given rate in which your throttle is set. So that doesn't slow down because you get a, you ingest a bird. So it still thinks it's still feeding the same amount of fuel. So that increases the pressure in the combustion section, but the pressure aft of the compressor decreases because it's slowed down. Okay, we'll get into that in just a second. So you've got the bird scenario, you ingest it, it slows the airflow, and uh, you get a compressor stall slash surge. Or you could have a situation where you're climbing uh, at a high altitude and you exceed the critical angle of attack for the blades and that creates a disruption of airflow. Or you're, sit the, you're, you're sitting there at a high altitude and you're jockeying the throttles too quickly and you're increasing the fuel flow and everything's kind of working a little slower and you have more fuel flow than rotational RPMs. So there's a disruption. You've got more fuel than you do have uh, air flowing through the compressor section uh, because it's not turning fast enough. So the fuel the fuel flow increases almost immediately, but the rotation is not uh, keeping up. So then the pressure uh, is not, uh, the discharge pressure after the compressor is, is, is not as high as it should be. Yet, the pressure inside the combustion section is continued to build because you're feeding uh, an increased amount of fuel but the rotation's not matching it, so the turbine's not moving quick enough to keep up with it. So that's basically what's going on. I, I hope I could, I said that in a way that it's clear. So let me just, just, just kind of recap one more time. What happens in the anatomy of a uh, compressor stall is that you've got air flowing through the engine. All of a sudden there's a disruption, something happens. There's a disruption of airflow. The pressure that is required for the fuel flow is is not there and it's decreased and the discharge pressure is lower than the required uh, rate for the given fuel for, uh, flow pressure so you've got an increase of combustion pressure aft of in, after the compressor and so ultimately and then you've got a axial flow uh, the, the the flow of air has decreased, which means that the turbine section is not uh, turning as quickly, which means you're not producing enough uh, pressure uh, or velocity because of, of the situation. So the compressor's not moving as quickly. And all of a sudden, you've got an issue here where notice that in the combustion section, you've got an increased amount of pressure here. And the pressure after the compressor is less here and what do we know about pressure is that high pressure is always going to seek low pressure so all of a sudden you're going to have a reverse flow situation where this high pressure is not only going to go aft out this way it's also going to reverse in direction and it's going to start moving forward and that's where you get your backfires uh, taking place and you get all the bangs and all that going on because all of a sudden instead of the air flowing through the engine like it should be going aft now it's flowing in in the opposite direction because you've got a drop of pressure behind the compressor and an increased combustion pressure which it's it's gonna cause the reverse flow so um, there's a lot of talk there about pressure but I also want to address the issue with temperature. So because you have an increase uh, or, or you've got a, a, uh, a lot of fuel coming in the combustion uh, area, but you've got a decrease of rotational uh, RPMs, uh, which means that uh, the compressor is not moving as fast, you're going to have a lot of pressure and an increased amount of temperature in the combustion section which can be very damaging to the aircraft. So that's something you want to con consider because it has a possibility of producing damaging temperatures in the turbine and combustion chamber or in unusual transient loads in the compressor. So that is the big thing. 
uh, behind the compressor stall was all of a sudden because you had a disruption of of airflow you had a drop of pressure behind the compressor section now because of the fuel flow it's continuing to dump at a specific rate uh, given uh, through your throttles you've got an increased amount of pressure here all of a sudden you've got reverse flow taking place and the temperature is rising in this section and then all of a sudden the pressure is rising in that section and then you've got a problem so what do you do about it the correction is uh, that needs to take place is is pretty simple um, but you need to know about that as well so how do you fix this problem the recovery uh, must be accomplished quickly by reducing the throttle setting that reduces the fuel flow okay so you don't have all that fuel pumping in there that's why the first thing you want to do is bring back the power reduce the fuel flow so now the pressure can start decreasing in this area to hopefully be lower uh, to be lower than the pressure that's being produced in this area so that you could continue to move this air through this section and and kind of uh, reverse the flow once again so that it's not going up front anymore it's now being pushed in the back area so that's why you want to reduce the uh, fuel flow so that you could drop that pressure so that it's lower than the compressor discharge pressure the other thing you want to do is you want to decrease the angle of attack if that's the issue uh, so that the fan blades <clears throat> are not uh, stalled and you could continue to flow air and increase the airflow and then the third thing you want to do is to increase your airspeed so you get more uh, airflow through the engine <clears throat> and you could kind of uh, correct the uh, pressure uh, disruption and the airflow disruption same thing so the same idea whenever you stall a wing you want to go ahead and uh, <clears throat> reduce the angle of attack increase that airspeed but in this case you also want to reduce the uh, the fuel flow I hope that helped uh, if you've got any questions let me know um, once again just use the uh, the comment section below to add any comments or add anything or to make any corrections and uh, what I've put together here take care